So I'm about to go into the Vintage Market in Morristown, Tennessee. This has been open for a few months. They have absolutely beautiful things in here and they are beautifully arranged. Super cute for ten dollars. You can find just about anything in here. Six dollars for this pretty little vase. Stickers. dollars for that Pyrex set. Nineteen seventy six. Salt and pepper, twenty dollars. I have to ask my mother if she wants those because she likes those little blue and white houses. Oh, could you imagine this in your bathroom? That is really pretty. Sixty dollars. Oh my gosh, is this a little outfit for a little girl? Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Let's see, what do they want for that? I don't see a price on it.
What I like about this antique wall is that everybody's booth is neat and just arranged really nice so you could see all the merchandise. These fabric fruit here, ten dollars. Six cute little houses. Thirty dollars. Pretty little ornament for six dollars. Look at this. Five dollars for that jar full of ornaments and a little Christmas bear four dollars how can you beat that little cat by Elizabeth Arden ten dollars I think I'm going to have to make several videos because this antique store is really big and I won't be able to get through it all on just one video. For anybody with a nautical theme, the picture in the back is six dollars and the little bears are only three. Butter churn for 15 for people who like that primitive look. John Deere cookie jar. Well, these candlestick holders are only $9. Oh, Ricky Nelson. How many people remember him? Olivia Newton John. As you can see, it goes way back there. And that is why I cannot do it all in one video. Oh my gosh, we used to go to the Army and Navy store and wear those back in the olden days. $7 for that pair of jeans. Cute little Mickey and Minnie shirt for six dollars. some vintage quilts and 
they want $49. Definitely handmade. Marionette. Dolly Parton candle. A shower curtain. I don't recognize the person on it. Oh, look at the cute little pig. Four dollars. Ten dollars for the bird cage. Oh my gosh, a puffy jacket. That looks like 1990s, doesn't it? Wizard of Oz print. I have always liked the Wizard of Oz. $32. Ansel Adam picture. Reminds me of, what is it, a blue boy and pink girl, something like that. $25 for this set. $169 for the little wash stand. dollars lots of stuff packed into this little booth I really like blue right now but I think so does a lot of other people some vintage doilies Eighteen dollars. A lot of work in that. Farmhouse sign. I agree. <laughs> Cute little bunny just resting there on the shelf. Seventy dollars for that little set. A lot of farmhouse stuff in this booth. Old Georgia license plate. Someone told me that here in Tennessee, we will be getting new license plates. It's a Tennessee vacation. I've got about six more minutes. 50% off the Halloween stuff.
And this is a large booth with, oh look at this wooden three-tiered service thing. $20 for that. price on that, but I like it. I've got to check out what these white pillows are. It's like I want to do my bedroom all in white. Those would be so pretty. This is a chenille comforter. Looks like I did buy a chenille comforter at the bins, and it turned out to be. Sorry, I must be making this sick. Just trying to find the price, but I can't find the price on it. Some yellow accessories. You don't see yellow very often. Lots of doilies. I think they are coming back into fashion. Another view of the store. Oh, I like that sideboard. Oh, look at the cute little dog. I know what they want for that. Some little glass doves. What could you do with that nest? Pearlescent picture here is twelve ninety-nine. Oh, I see something I like. Look at the little owl salt and pepper shakers. Four ninety-nine. I think when I'm done videotape and I might have to come here come back here and pick those up how cute are these for Halloween five dollars super super cute going back where we came from I see another vintage quilt there. I haven't actually gone into this booth. And then lots of jewelry. And I think that's where I'm going to end this video. Look for part two. Remember to subscribe and hit the notification button for the rest of the vintage market videos.